So you just downloaded the NPC Beat software. You want to use your MIDI controller to control to transport controls inside of the NPC Beats. Well, this video is going to cover how to control the stop, play, and record buttons inside of the NPC Beat software with your MIDI controller. Check it out. What's up? My name is Matthew Stratton. On this channel, I'll do setup videos, tutorials, and overviews to help you create and record music. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. So I've been asked a few times on how to set up the transport controls on NPC Beats with a controller that isn't, you know, in the presets. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. In front of me, I have an older NPD32 controller. So this is an older controller. And, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? But if you were curious about, you know, having an Akai MIDI controller with 16 pads, I'll leave links to the new ones in the description of the video. Because there's a few different options that you can get that you know have the 16 pad layout and you know there's just different kinds of controls that you can get but if you already have one why not use what you already have and in this case i have the mpd32 so i'm going to go ahead and open up the mpc beat software so i want to show you how to use the mmc and i'm going to show you how to actually use the cc messages so you can actually you know do this with multiple different kinds of generic midi controllers so i'm going to show you the first method with the mmc so if you go to your menu go to edit and then preferences okay you see that it says menu edit preferences click your preferences Within your preferences, go to MIDI slash sync. Now, in this area, you need to click MIDI machine control receive. All right, so we're sending messages from our MIDI controller to the MPC Beat software. So I'm going to turn that on. Once I turn that on, I'm going to press OK, and then everything should be set up. So watch what happens when I push play. All right actually starts playing on the software and you notice I push stop it stopped playing and then if I push record it's going to arm record and then I could push play and then it's going to you know count in and start recording now there is going to be an issue with this method because if you don't have any overdub mode when you hit record it's just going to start erasing all your MIDI messages so I want to show you the other way to do this so this way you can assign your record button on your MIDI controller to the overdub button inside of MPC Beats. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up the MPD editor. And the reason why I opened up the MPC editor is to make sure the buttons are set to CC. And I'm just going to click on one of the buttons down here. And you can see that it highlighted that whole area, okay, for the transport keys. Now if you look, I got MIDI plus MMC set up. But if I click right here where it says CTRL, I can actually turn these buttons into control values. So right here it says CC115, CC116, etc. And this way we can go into the MPC Beat software and use learn mode and set the buttons to whatever we want them to be. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Okay. Now keep in mind, even if you don't have like the actual transport controls on your MIDI controller, you can set up other keys as long as you can set your buttons to CC values. So I'm just going to load up again a demo. And then this time I'm going to go to the menu, edit, preferences, and then MIDI sync. Once I'm in MIDI sync, I need to make sure control is on. Okay, if you have it off, you're not going to be able to MIDI learn those buttons. So I'm going to put control on. And then I want to press OK. Now, if you look to the right side of the MPC Beat software, I have MIDI Learn selected here. If I take it off, you don't see that. But if you don't see it, if you go to the bottom of the screen, you can push MIDI Learn. It's going to bring up this screen here. Now, I just want to show you this because I think it's kind of funny. If you go to factory presets here, go to Akai, we got the new ones. Okay, so you got the new MPD 232, and this is what I was telling you about. Like, there's newer versions of this, so if you do want the 16 pad layout, you can still get it. I'll leave a link in the description, but it doesn't have MPD 32, it only has MPD 232. You can be using any generic MIDI controller to do this as long as you're able to send CC messages. So, I'm going to click right here, okay, and then push new MIDI map. So, this is going to give me a new MIDI map, okay. I need to make sure that this is indeed enabled. If it's not enabled, it's not going to work. Okay, so make sure enabled is turned on. And then press the learn 
button right here. So click on learn and you can see a bunch of things show up highlighted. So you can actually click on them directly, which is fine, but there are other things that you don't see happening. So let's go ahead and click on transport. So right here we have play, stop, play, start, step back, step forward, event back, event forward and record. And then, you know, overdub right there. So yeah, we can definitely click on the play parameter and then click on the play button. So if you look, a parameter was assigned right there. So I'm gonna click on stop within the software. I'm gonna push the stop button on the controller. Okay, and then I'm gonna click record and then press the record button on the controller. And now those particular things are set up. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna click learn and then everything's already set up now. So when I hit play, it's gonna start playing. If I push stop, it's gonna stop playing. If I hit record, you know, it's gonna start recording. But the issue with the MPC beats in the record mode is that when you're using MIDI tracks, if you hit record and start recording, it's gonna record over all your previous, you know, uh, MIDI events. So what you gotta do, if you don't want that to happen, if you just wanna to add to it, is actually set your record button to overdub. And when you use overdub, that's gonna add on to the events, okay? So it's not gonna erase your previous MIDI events, it's gonna add MIDI events to your particular sequence. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Right here where it says record, I'm gonna right click that, I'm gonna clear the mapping. And then right here is overdub. So I can actually press learn, click on overdub. And then once I click on overdub, I can press the record button. And then the record button is gonna be assigned to overdub. Another thing you might wanna do is change the play button to play start. So whenever you hit the play button, it's gonna start the sequence at the beginning. If you're okay with the play button starting from wherever your playhead is at, that's fine. It's your preference. So once you learn these, you know, you can assign them how you want to. So you can actually right click, clear the mapping, and then go to play start, and then press the play button. And what play start does is it starts the sequence at the beginning. Now the other thing I wanna show you is you can see there are uh, buttons for forward and backward here on this. So I can actually click step back and assign these as well. So step back, press the button, you know, the double back arrows, and then go to step forward. So I click on step forward, press the forward arrows, and now that's assigned as well. So I'm gonna unclick learn. And once I unclick the learn button, we can safely push any of the buttons and it's not gonna program them. And so now whenever I push, you know, record and play start, I'm going to be able to add to the sequence. Okay? That was just something random, right? But you get the idea. Okay. And then look at the playhead here. So this right here is the playhead. I'm going to push the arrows forward and you can see it's going forward. Let me zoom in on that. So if I push the arrows forward, it goes forward by steps. If I push it back, it goes backwards, okay? I'm gonna do a series of videos in setting up MIDI controllers with the MPC Beat software. So if you're interested in that, click or tap the screen over here to take you to that playlist. I mean, I'm gonna just cover the knobs and maybe some of the buttons and different things like that, and even the pads. So make sure you do check out that playlist. My name's Matthew, continue creating music. We'll talk soon.